Hi everyone, it's Lolly. I wanted to share with you my new paper trimmer, which is the Caterpillar Pro ABS. And I had seen videos and read reviews about this trimmer and all the different uh, versions of it up to this point. Um, there had been some complaints with earlier models about the uh, grid marks wearing out, but these are these are etched in, so they won't fade now. Um, I love this, and one of the reasons I got it is that I've been um, having some weakness in my hands lately, and it's getting difficult to cut papers. And so this one is basically one or two finger operation. This is a metal. Um, let me see if I can turn it over so you can see it. The cutting blade, it is metal and it's self-sharpening, and it only takes basically one finger to roll that across there. You do not carry it or lift it by that handle there. You don't want to get that misaligned. It, and when you put batteries in it, if you can see that, it's going to be bright there. It has a light. It's backlit. Let's see if you can see that right there. It's backlit so that when you're cutting, you can see exactly where it's going to cut that paper. Now I have the camera way up high. I don't think I'm going to do this with the... No, not really. Yeah, the camera way up high so I can get the whole cutter in there. Anyway, with the backlit on, you can tell exactly where you're going to be cutting. So you can use that as a guide um, or the grid marks here. Now one of the issues people do have that they don't care for on it is that there is nothing to hold the paper. There's no bar. Um, however, I'm okay with that because it is so easy to cut this paper that um, I don't feel like I have to mash down on that paper super hard. It's making a nice, clean, beautiful cut. I didn't hold on to that well, but let's do one this way. Um, again, it's just so quick, so easy, and I'm thrilled with it. I'm very happy. It does not cut heavier weights like cardstock, not cardstock, I'm excuse me, chipboard. Do not try chipboard with this. Um, not sure if I mentioned the blade is self-sharpening, added feature there. And also, if I can slide this over, there is a pull-out tray here, right there, which is kind of handy. And uh, this is battery-operated on the lights, takes four AA batteries. It's supposed to last pretty long. Looks like LED lights, so I'm sure they're pretty low temp burning. Um, supposed to cut up to 1 16th inch. They've got really good markings across here. And if you have an issue with um, the fact that it doesn't have something that really holds the paper well, one of the things you can do is just keep a cork-backed ruler handy, put that in there, and then you're just holding it with the cork because that gives it a little friction when you're cutting. Let's turn it this way and get that little paper edge off of there. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not pushing. I'm just gliding this gently with one finger, and I, I hardly have to push down on the paper at all. One of my problems with some of the other trimmers I've had is the, the amount of force required to to roll and cut. And I pretty much had decided that I was no longer going to get these folding cutters because um, you can't see your measurements between basically four and three quarters to five and a quarter. It's just a jumble here, and there's really no help to know exactly where you're cutting. And even with that, my, I, when I cut my paper, the paper I cut on this is off in measurements compared to my other cutters. And it cuts fuzzy. Brand new, it cuts fuzzy. So I'm not happy with that. You know, even if I try to angle this in a different way, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really cut fuzzy. fuzzy. So to me, this has really kind of been a waste of money. Um, very thrilled with this. I think you're going to like it too. Give it a try. And I think it was well worth the investment for me. And I'm a happy camper. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.